Hey there, guys. Uh, we have the uh, Highlanders at the uh, Senators here for you again today. I think I've complained before about um, how much I actually dislike playing with the uh, Highlanders on camera um, for a variety of reasons, but we have them again, and the reason why is because they're two games out of first place, and they're just right here in the thick of things. So, uh, I mean, we're going to see them for a little while longer. I have debated with myself um, a number of times whether it's good to continue showing so many American League games here at the beginning of 1908 for you because it really slows down the replay. Um, but um, in the end, I think it's probably the right thing to do because it's an interesting race and it's something where it's still wide open. And um, I do think that in the long term, I'll look back on this um, happy and uh, with favorable thoughts. But um, I'll tell you one thing I do know, because I pay attention, I do know that um, these are not exactly the most popular videos of all time. Um, so uh, don't think that um, I'm some sort of fool who's ignoring, you know, view rates and stuff like that. Uh, with that said, we'll go ahead and uh, play this. And uh, you might wonder, you know, Skeeter Soft NP3 maybe is not the most fun game in the world to watch somebody play. But um, <clears throat> it really is a lot of fun to play. I prefer playing this actually to uh, playing Diamond Mine, to be honest with you. So uh, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to go ahead with the uh, plan that I had at the very beginning of this project, and uh, we'll see what happens. Harry Niles here will lead this off, and he rolls a 52 for a 27 against Long Tom Hughes. It's a ground ball to third base, and that will be Shipka who has it, throws the first one away. We Willie Keeler up there now. And he rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball to right field. Climber has that, and there are two away just like that. Here's Charlie Hemphill, and he rolls a 26 for a 27. Another ground ball to Shipka, who throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the first just like that, and it will be uh, Bill Hogg for the Highlanders up against Otis Climber to lead this off. Climber rolls a 44 for an 8. That's a single, but the little C will get him, and he gets thrown out stealing one away. George McBride up there now. George rolls a 46 for a 29. Come back over to Hogg. Throws the first for the out. Two away. And it's Jim Delahanty. Delahanty rolls a 63 for a 31. Little fly ball to Hempel in center. We go to the top of the second. Neil Ball now up there. Rolls a 61 for a 30. Fly ball to left field. He's out. One away. Jake Stahl is up. And uh, he rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball over to second. Delahanty. Uh, Jim throws the first for the out. Two away. And here's Hal Chase. The notorious Hal Chase. What's going on here? Innings pitch 0.3. I guess that's one third of an inning is what that's supposed to be. I'm saying if you pitched, uh, got three men out, you know. Anyway, Chase rolls an 11 for a zero. The next roll is a uh, 26 for a six. That's a double over to right center field. Chase can hear me talking about him. That's why he um, hit that ball, and that'll bring up Walter Blair. Blair is hitting 348, 400 on base percentage, 391 slugging percentage. He's uh, trying to make a case for him to be the actual starting catcher for the Highlanders. We'll see how he does in this uh, week. And uh, Blair rolls a 34 for a 44 fly ball to center field, and uh, Milan is there for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. So the Highlanders come up wanting, and here is Bill Shipka to lead this off for the Senators. He rolls a 14 for a 43, and there's a little E uh, roll, and it's a 26 out of the range. Fly ball to left field. Stahl has that for the out, one away. John Warner now rolls a 46 for a 13 and strikes out. First strikeout all game for either team. Bill Hogg ends up winning that one, two away, and it's Jerry Freeman. He rolls a 51 for a 9. That's a pop-up over to the left side, and Conroy has that for the out. We go to the top of the third, and he hit is Wid Conroy here to lead this off. He rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back here to Long Tom Hughes. Throws the first for the out, one away. Bill Hogg up next. Rolls a 34 for a 44, and there's the little E roll. And the number is a 31, and that ends up being a uh, fly ball over to center field. Milan has that for the out, two away. Harry Niles now. He rolls a 16 for a 26. It's a ground ball this time over to Delhanty, who throws the first, and uh, we go to the bottom of the third. Fast-moving game, not much happening. Clyde Milan is up, and he rolls a 45 for a 14. That's a walk, and he will steal second right away. That brings up Bob Gainley, who's hitting only 145. You know it's bunting time. And the roll is a 33 for a 7. How many times has this happened? So Gainley would have driven the run in. Instead, it's a bunt over to uh, the first base side. Chase has it, flips over to Niles, covering the bag for the out. And uh, there's one away. Here's Long Tom Hughes. The infield will come in, try to cut off Milan. We will not bunt because uh, Milan's not particularly fast, and Hughes um, has a lot of strikeout numbers. The roll is a 42 for a 13, and uh, touche. Two away now as uh, Hogg collects his second strikeout, and um, here up now is Otis Clymer. Climber rolls a 45 for a 14, and that's a base on balls. Hogg has that W, two walks so far this game, 17 in the season, which um, doesn't seem like much compared to 49, but um, for 1908, that's not very good. George McBride up now, and he rolls a 26 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base. And um, it is uh, Conroy who has that, flips that one over to Niles, uh, covering a second. We go to the top of the fourth. 
wee Willie Keeler told you this was a fast-paced game. Here comes Keeler. He rolls a 64 for a 13, and that's the first strikeout the long Tom Hughes has collected. One away, Charlie Hemphill uh, rolls a 62 for a 12, and that's a uh, little E roll will come first. It's a 14. That's within the range. That will be changed to a 19. That's an error on Shipka, and uh, will allow Hemphill to reach first. That brings up Neil Ball running on at first base, one out. And uh, the rules is 61 for a 30. A little fly ball over to left field, and uh, Gainley has it for the out. Two gone, and it's Jake Stahl. Stahl rolls a 16 for a 28. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. McBride flips that one over to Delahanty, uh, covering second base. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, and it's Jim Delahanty, of course. Big part of that last play. He rolls an 11 for a zero. And uh, then a 45 for a six. Here's an attempt at a potential home run. First roll is a 15, just out of that range, so it ends up being a double for Delahanty. That'll bring up Bill Shipka, runner on at second base, nobody out. Bottom of the fourth inning, and uh, we're going to let Shipka swing away. 10 RBIs so far this season, 424 slugging percentage, um, along with a 288 average. That's pretty good. Bill rolls a 33 for an 8, and that's going to be a single over second base, and uh, that is an attempt to score Delahanty, but unfortunately he's slow. Hemphill throws over to Blair, and they nail him at the plate. Shipka ends up going to second base to replace him. Now there's one out, and here's John Warner, and Warner's only hitting 188. Why did we uh, hit the catcher up so high? I don't know. We're going to bunt with him. He rolls a 62 for a 12, misses uh, two attempts to bunt, so two strikes on Warner. That takes away the bunt, and the roll's a 66 for a 0. Good thing we didn't bunt there. Next roll is a 44 for a 2, and that's a triple. The deep center field, Warner finally able to make something happen offensively, and the Senators score, and it's 1-0 now Washington. That'll bring up Jerry Freeman. Runner on a third base, only one out, bottom of the fourth. And uh, Jerry rolls a 54 for a 45, but there is a little E roll. Rolls a 36, so it's out of the range. It's going to be a little uh, fly ball over to right field, and uh, Keeler has that for the out, two away. Clyde Milan now, and that's not quite deep enough to score Warner. Here's Clyde Milan, uh, and he rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball over to center field, and it's Hemphill who has that catch for the out. We go right away to the top of the fifth inning, and here comes Hal Chase, who has the only hit so far for the Highlanders, one for one with that double. He rolls a 51 for an eight, and that's a ground ball over to shortstop. McBride has it, throws to first, one gone. Walter Blair. Walter Blair rolls a 26 for a 30. Fly ball over to left field. This time it's Gainley who has that for the out, two away, and it's Wade Conroy. And uh, Wid rolls a 53 for a 20. It's changed to 19. That's going to be a line drive over to Shipka, and um, he makes the catch for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Still one nothing Senators, and here's Bob Gainley. Bob hitting 145. Great 145. Rolls a 26 for a 30. Fly ball to left field, and uh, Stahl has it for the out. Somehow that average will continue to drop. One away. Here's Long Tom Hughes, who's hitting 059. That's even worse. Rolls a 25 for a 9. That's a pop-up over to uh, Conroy, the third baseman, who has it. Two away, and it's Otis Clymer. Rolls a 14 for a 43, and uh, here's a little E roll. It's a 32, and that ends up being a fly ball to left field. Stahl has that for the out. Can of corn, and we go to the top of the six. Bill Hogg up there now for the Highlanders. Fast-moving ball game. This is the way we like it. Hogg rolls a 51 for a 13. That's the way you can tell the guy's a bad hitter. <laughs> it's a second strikeout for Hughes. Here's Harry Niles. Rolls a 44 for an 8, and that's going to be a ground ball again over to uh, McBride. Long Tom Hughes makes it look so simple. McBride to first, two away. Willie, Wee Willie Keeler rolls a 22 for a 7. There's a clean single to right field. Only hit number 2 for New York, and that brings up Charlie Hemphill. <clears throat> Charlie rolls a 34 for a 44. There's that little E roll. It's a 63. It's out of the range, so there's a fly ball over to center field. Milan has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and it will be George McBride up here for the Senators. McBride rolls a 12 for a 25, and there is a little E roll. 53, it's out of the range. It's a ground ball over to second base. Niles has it, throws to first, one away. Jim Delahanty up there now. Rolls a 15 for an 11. That's going to be a single for Delahanty, and he will steal second. So that's hit number five for the Senators. And once again, they have a runner on at second base. It seems like every time you turn around, there's a runner on at second base. And here comes Bill Shipka, one for two today. Stingled and scored a run. Uh, back last time up, I don't remember which inning that was. I think it was in the fourth, um, and uh, hitting 299 so far with a little bit of power. And uh, that is a 55 is his roll for a nine. That's a ground ball over to uh, first base. Chase has that one. He goes to the back himself. Delahanty moves over to third, but there are two men out. John Warner now the hitter. And uh, he rolls a 12 for a 25, and uh, here comes a little E roll. 
and it's a 15, which is within the range, and so that's going to end up being changed to 21. That is an error on Hal Chase. Another ball hit to him, and he lets that one go through his legs. Warner ends up over on second base, and the run scores, and that makes it a 2-0 game. Error number one on the Highlanders, number two on the uh, day so far, so it's been a quick game. Here's Jerry Freeman. Freeman rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's another ground ball to Chase. Three in a row, and he plays this one correctly and goes to the bag. We go to the top of the 7th, and it's a 2-0 lead for uh, Washington, and here comes Neil Ball. Ball rolls a 51 for a 9. That's going to be a single, and then he steals, tries to steal second and is thrown out. So there's one away. Jake Stahl up there rolls a 62 for a 12. It's a ground ball over to Freeman, who goes to the bag himself, 2 away, and here is Hal Chase, 1 for 2 now. Chase rolls a 61 for a 41. That's changed to 39. That'll be a strike. Next rolls a 12 for a 24, and here's the little E roll. It's a 14 within the range, so that will be changed to 21. That's going to be an error on Freeman, the first baseman. Another ground ball hit to him, and he misplays it. So we've seen two errors here in a row, one by each team, in which the first baseman was involved and made the uh, bad play. And of now Walter Blair, who for the Highlanders is hitting very well this season. He rolls, though, a 31 for a 36, changed to 41. That is going to be a uh, ground ball over to the uh, shortstop, McBride, who flips that one over to Delahanty at second for the uh, force out. And Hal Chase has been injured on that play, and so we will have a uh, replacement in here for Chase. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Senators two, Highlanders nothing, and we'll see if we have another first baseman here somewhere. George uh, Morti- uh, Moriarty. Yeah, Moriarty comes in for him. And it'll be Clyde Milan here, bottom of the seventh inning. Two-nothing lead, kind of a small, precarious lead for the Senators, but they're in the lead nonetheless. Milan rolls 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to the third baseman, Conroy. Throws the first, one gone. Bob Gainley up there now. Ooh, and he rolls a 66 for a zero, and here comes that second roll. It's going to be a 65 for a seven. So we only get a single, or the Senators only get a single out of that one. Um, But uh, it's worth a shot, and uh, that will put a runner on first base with um, one out. And that means it's bunting time. Let's see what Hughes can do. Hughes rolls a 33 for a 7 again. We waste another good hit on a bunt. And so that's a bunt over to the first baseman, Chase, who flips, I'm sorry, to Mor- Moriarty, who flips that one over to Niles, covering at the bag, and Gainley moves over to second. That brings up Otis Clymer again. Clymer, one for two today, also walked, hitting 348, good on base percentage, good slugging percentage. And he rolls a 21 for a 30, and that's the end of that. Fly ball over to left field. Stahl has that for the out. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Still 2-0 Senators, and Long Tom Hughes is still rolling. Here's Wid Conroy. And Wid rolls a 62 for a 12. That's a ground ball over to first. Freeman plays it the right way this time for the out. One away. Bill Hogg, now the pitcher, rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball over to right field. Climbers got that for the out. Two away, and it's Harry Niles. He rolls a 31 for a 9. That's a pop-up over to the third baseman. Uh, Shipka has it. We go to the bottom of the 8th. Still 2-0 Washington. George McBride leaves this off, leads this off, and he rolls a 55 for a 9. Pops that up to third base. Conroy has that one away. Jim Delahanty up there now. And uh, Jim rolls a 56 for a 14, so he will walk. And uh, that means Hogg goes down to a deed. That's uh, the third walk of the game given up by Hogg. And here comes Bill Shipka. Of course, we are going to swing away with Shipka. Delahanty not fast enough for hit and run. And the rule there, you see this better than I can. The shadows are in my way. It's a 42 for a 22, and that means Shipka's hit by the pitch. That'll bring up John Warner, who uh, has runners on first and second with only one out, bottom of the eighth. I think we're going to have Warner bunt. And, of course, once again, he rolls a 22 for an A. Would have been a base hit. Instead, it's a bunt back to Hogg, who flips over to uh, Niles, covering a first base. Two away. Runners now on second and third. And here is uh, Jerry Freeman. Two outs. Freeman rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball over to center field. Hempel has that for the out, and we go to the top of the ninth inning. So uh, my um, aggressive bunting has been backfiring, and here is Wee Willie Keeler. Keeler rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball to right field. Climber has that for the out. One gone. Charlie Hemphill now rolls a 21 for a 30. That's hit over to left field, and Stahl has it for the out. Two away. And Neil Ball, now the last chance, rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball over to uh, the second baseman, Delahanty, throws the first for the out. And that does it. So the Senators will go to 8 and 11. Highlanders down to 9 and 10. That means that Washington is also cle- uh, cre- um, what uh, I guess crawling or creeping back into a contention in the American League. And there you have it. Pretty quick game for you. And uh, New York has lost again. And uh, we'll see how much longer this lasts. We need an American League team to really uh, break out um, to make this really interesting. Final score again, 2 nothing, And uh, I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye.